Greetings, Earthlings. Levi has, supposedly, Levi has gotten us a farm to detect, and it's, I don't, I can't give too much away, but it's pretty close to where there was a skirmish. We're not sure if it's going to be close enough to the skirmish for us to find frags and fired bullets, but we're hoping that it's close enough for there to be something. Maybe somewhere where they might have sat down preparing for the skirmish or retreated after the skirmish, you know. So, but there's only one way to find out, and that is to dig holes, lots of holes, because each hole is like just a, a word in the sentence of the story that we're trying to figure out, you know. So, that's what we're going to go do as soon as Brandon and Levi and James get here. I'm on, I'm on call this weekend, so that's why Jeff and Daniel's not here. Okay, stick around. Maybe we'll find something. Well, here's the house. Um, there's like a little well pump like right there. There's some flowers here, but we're not, we're not detecting here. There's a huge ridge dropped straight off. And they're supposed to, they're saying that there's going, there's supposed to be a, a bridge down here. But I don't know if you can tell, but it drops straight off. So I'm thinking there might be a road bed along the bottom of this ridge here. I'm not even getting my stuff out because I mean this is a this is a trash pile right here. I mean this is just filthy filthy up in here. So I'm gonna go down there and see if the bridge is down there. And if I if I see remnants of a roadbed or remnants of a bridge I'll come back up here but I'm not optimistic. No offense Levi but I mean that's just how getting new permissions go. You never know till you get out and look at it. But right now, there's nothing in me that is saying, get your detector out. Guys, I'm not sure if you can tell how steep this is or not. But. Right up there's the house. And there's trash all down through here. And, I mean... I mean, it does feel good to not have a detector in my hands because I usually, I have noticed that when I'm in the woods without a detector in my hands, I notice things that I don't notice when I have a detector in my hand and vice versa. So, so what I'm doing here is I'm trying not to break my neck. I'm just looking for stuff. It feels good to be exploring and not detecting right this second. What's not going to feel good is like, I mean, I could slide all the way down to the bottom of this thing. What's not going to feel good is climbing back up through there. But, like I said, I'm not optimistic, but I'll turn this thing on if any of the people digging find something or if I see something worth talking about, okay? Okay, so I finally made it down this steep ridge, right? And I'm trying to find the bridge that the guy that Levi has permission from uh, told him about. And I just knew that if there was going to be a bridge down here, that it would have there would have to be a roadbed running the bottom of this ridge because, I mean, a bridge isn't going to just run straight into a, a ridge that drops straight down because where are you going to go? Like... Especially if it's an old bridge, a, a horse isn't going to go up this steep stuff. You know? So, I can't tell. Like, it's definitely not this way. Because, literally, there's a rock right there. Huge rock. Bedrock coming up. It's actually like the nose of this ridge. Um, but, it does kind of flatten out here. And I'm not, and this is one of the sandiest creeks in this county. So, I'm not sure how much erosion has taken place. Um, over the years and, and I see this this is tied here but what I don't like is I don't think this is a part of an old bridge this is old this is part of some old railroad um, tracks and now it is an old track I mean that's probably only an inch and a half maybe that's not new track that's old track that's probably turn of the century maybe older 
I'm not an expert in railroad stuff, but like that's old. I don't know why it's here. I mean, it's, it's in there pretty good. Now, who knows? We're not far from the railroad tracks. They could have pulled pieces off of the old railroad line <coughs> to make a bridge with, but I just, I don't, I don't, I don't, I feel like I'm reaching with that theory. So I'm going to walk up this way where it flattens out and see how far it stays flat. And across the, across here, if there had been a bridge going in any direction here, it is kind of flat over there. So, yeah. This is the kind of stuff I used to film when I first started making YouTube videos. Me just like the mental process of me trying to like decode a property. I, I've kind of been cutting that out and my videos have slowly turned into more highlight reels. Let me know what you like best because uh, obviously I could I could make video, more videos like this and you could kind of get inside my head and, and try to like, because this is a property that I'm at that I, I'm, I probably won't even get my detector out at and it might help people in the future, you know? Just let me know if you want more videos like this of me just talking and kind of like just working the mental garbage out verbally. This doesn't look like a road bed though for real, guys. All right, so I'm on the other side of the rocks. Come this way. I'm still not seeing any any remnants of a bridge, but I mean, at least on this side, it does kind of, do kind of have like a bank. It's probably hard to tell this time of year, but you got kind of a bank going up right there and then a low spot where the ridge is at. I'm gonna walk a little bit further and see, but I'm not I'm not optimistic because yeah just i'm just not because the road would end here and there's no remnants of a bridge so i doubt this is a road but i've been wrong before so let's let's go a little bit further before i hike back up this mountain what do you think I don't have my phone on me. I got my work phone on me. You got some bullets? One of them, I mean, it's got crit marks on it, but the other one looks like an infield. Really? Look, I found a deadhead. A deadhead? Yeah, yeah we got crit marks on it. Hmm. I don't know what it is though. Oh, I'm gonna have to readjust here. I think that's an infield, dude. Because, I mean, remember in that one river when I dug the infield with the rifling marks on it? Mm -hmm. I mean, it looked just like that. And my hands are accurate to like the one millimeter same weight and everything <laughs> I don't know I didn't even bring my detector how far up the ridge was it right there past some rocks you know what I was thinking I would stay on the rocks yeah I ain't getting down here in the sand cause yeah this is gonna be a dang disaster so I didn't even dug that can over there 18 inches deep yeah yeah this is this is the flood line right here this is where all the light stuff is gonna be hanging out and then when that water this is well, dang man, there's there's old lead coming up for sure. I'm just gonna follow you around and film because I mean I'm not gonna drag that storm pool down this ridge, man. Oh, but uh, there where this ridge right here comes down, yeah. it comes down to like a a big rock face, and I think it would be if if there were soldiers on this ridge, I think it would have been a good spot for them to post up and fire back. And it's like solid bedrock all the way down to the water, and you might be able to uh, find some stuff that's washed off the banks and that has gotten stuck. So you said there there, there did look to be a roadbed further that way. Okay, so maybe this is a roadbed. Here's the the rock uh, formation that Brandon's about to hop up on. So maybe maybe we're getting on to something. And I saw this up here. I'm gonna grab it. I like these old things not old it's not too old but you can put stuff in them like bullets and stuff <clears throat> yeah
You're gonna kill somebody. Catfish just threw a damn wagon wheel down the... Some kind of wheel. All right, we got James coming down. We got Brandon right here swinging the Equinox. I'm just trying to imagine if I was being fired on where I'd be sitting. If I was firing across this creek, I would be behind this rock right here propped up firing that way. But Brandon dug what looks to be a fired infield on the next little, like little finger right over there. But they were, if they were here, they were probably scattered across here. If there was a bridge, they were probably protecting it. So we'll see. All right, we got a pretty good signal right here. It's on bedrock, so it shouldn't be too deep. That ain't it, is it? Mason jar glass. No. I think it's back in there. It's not that damn rude, ain't it? Right under it. Uh oh. Shell casing. Shell casing. Grass off of a out from around the modern bullet. Yep, could have been a button though. <laughs> All right, James just walked up and he's like, I dug I've this, I think it's modern, it's but one. it's not. Civil War bullet. This one's getting a little high for For sure. So there was firing across this creek onto this ridge, and these soldiers had to have been hanging on like billy goats. <laughs> Dang, man, I don't want to walk all the way back up there to get that machine, but I'm going to have to. All right, guys, I'm on my phone. Hey. Right up here on that same ridge, first signal is a fired bullet. So, And I have Silas here on the ridge with me. Okay. You're, going, you're going to try to not to fall down this hill, right? Okay. All right, I don't know what kind of bullet it is, but it's definitely sick. Daddy, is it actually a mountain? Yeah, it is. It's reading 76. Dad, this is a mountain, so, remember? Put it in the pouch and we'll keep going. Dad, this is a mountain. Yeah, it's a mountain. We said a hill. <laughs> yeah, it's not a hill, it's a mountain. All right, guys. I mean, I don't, I don't, I, can, I just can't justify how steep this is, man. <laughs> like, my, I popped my plug and the <laughs> plug started rolling down the bank. And this is what was in it. Oh. Definitely. It's crazy, man. It is. I was not optimistic. I was wrong. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. Well, Daddy just joined me. You can't tell, we're still on this steep ridge. <coughs> and he just dug a fired bullet. So, it's here, we're just having to work for it. I'm probably going to have to leave in a minute, so. Anyways, all right. Let's, let's go find some more. All right. Pretty steep, ain't it? Mm -hmm. uh, caught up with Brandon and Levi, yeah. and yeah, Brandon's dug him another one. Oh, another what? Bullet. Oh, okay. So, oh, I'm gonna have to go now, though. Unfortunately. All right, guys. Maybe you guys will find a a plate, CS plate. <laughs> but I think you got to be over that way, yeah. Summers. Because that's where they're firing these Confederate bullets from. <laughs> Swim across the creek. Yeah. It's hot enough to walk in this country. I know. All right, I worked my way over here to Daddy, and he's got a uh, an, an infield. So fired. Pretty sweet. I think he's got a uh, 
22 bullet on the edge of that plug right there too. We'll live dig it. We'll let him find it live. Nope, not a 22 bullet. Slightly bigger. Let's see it. <clears throat> yeah, I'd say that's modern for sure. Wow. Well, I'm on the other side of these big rocks right here. I'm leaned up, leaned up against a tree because it's straight down. And uh, right here, I was reading like a shotgun until I moved it around a little bit. And as you see right there, it's a fired infield. Sweet. Let's keep going. All right, I finally met up with Brandon. He dug him himself two infields. Yeah. Pretty sweet. And I just dug that axe head. I thought it was gonna be a piece of shell, but I'll take it. Got some damn out. wear on it, don't it? I ain't even dug no iron. There's fired bullets here. I should have been digging it. <laughs> well, I haven't really gotten any big iron signals. No. Honestly. I heard that, though, and I was like, I'm going to dig it. I think we're going to migrate and go somewhere else. I don't know where yet, but we got to take advantage of <coughs> Levi's door knocking abilities, I guess, before he leaves. He's leaving, what, next weekend? Yeah, next Friday. We had another plan, but it's a little too late in the day for it. You ready to migrate? Yeah, I'm ready to go to a masseuse. <laughs> <laughs> well, Daddy just dug a wormed bullet right there. I haven't seen Brandon, but I know he's dug two infields. And I don't know if you can tell how steep this is, but I had to dig steps into this ridge to keep from sliding down. I mean, it is steep. It doesn't look it on this phone, but it is. I mean, it's literally... I mean, I don't know. But anyways, right here, right here, if I can get it out, I just dug a fired infield, so, oh, I'm going to try to get a few more without breaking my neck. What's up, guys? I'm going to be quick because we're running out of daylight. Leva just got us on a permission. We thought it was going to be really good, but this place is... Uh, it's hardly any signals, but I just dug my first on land burn side, which is really cool. Still got some of the brass on it. If we hadn't have dug so many in the river, I wouldn't have known what kind of bullet this was. That is cool. I will take it. Well, we're back at Levi's permission. We did pretty good. Uh, Levi dug him a big round ball and some fired lead, bucking ball. Not sure what what is that? It's a I don't rim know. fire, big rim fire. Big rim fire. Brandon with two fired infields. I got I played in the yard a little bit, dug some small toys. Uh, big old axe head. Two fired infields and some uh, Civil War. Probably five pieces of fired bullet. You know, I'm, I'm sorry, I, I, I'm not good with names. What was your name again? Tommy. Tommy. Tommy dug him the nicest infield of the day. Really nice. It almost looks like it's dropped, but I don't think it was. I'm, and we're not sure what kind of bullets these are. Let us know if you know. Um, some probably pieces of fired bullets. Daddy racked up on some lead, several pieces of fired bullets, a round ball, and a pretty nice infield. It's just, it just hit, it probably hit a tree branch, I think. Uh, I don't know where we're going now, but maybe we'll get on another property and dig some some coins. Yeah. Yeah. Let's, yeah. let's go. Let's go for it. We got we, we got we got catfish John for one more week. <laughs> yep. All right.